And if you're a student or a parent this school year, may seem a little less pandemic uh, as far as the worries go and a return to some normalcy as COVID-19 safety policies loosen. News 12's Ben Nandy spoke to the students headed to elementary school and beyond about how they plan to tackle the school year and make friends. Genesis Naula is excited about starting fifth grade this week. I asked her to think back to third grade, 2020, when she was at home taking classes on her computer. I never had any friend because I was online. I never knew anyone. She and her cousin Leslie, who are spending their last day of summer break here at Croton Point Park, tell me this year their social lives are going to be so much better. That's because of fewer restrictive COVID safety protocols and in-person classes. You can talk, you can like like play around and I feel like friends to friends and teacher to teacher is the best thing. And I hopefully hope and nothing bad's gonna happen this year with COVID. Never got to see my professors in person. Lifeguard Brandon Orozco is leaving tomorrow for what he hopes is going to be a more traditional college experience. The last couple years just hasn't done it for him. A lot of the time I was learning just by myself, just like being self-taught or you know using the internet to learn all these different topics that we had to in school. According to guidance from the state education department, neither college students nor these rising fifth graders are going to have to deal with strict quarantine rules or pod systems. A pod system keeps certain groups of students together all the time, limiting their contact with students from other groups in order to reduce COVID spread. And the parents? Well, they tell me they're glad because it's much less likely this year that their kids' classes would suddenly go remote, leaving them to scramble for last-minute childcare. Ben Nandy, News 12.